Hello! Welcome to the Gathertown tutorial video. In this video, we are going to show you how to use Gathertown. Join the link and let's get started. Firstly, you will have to create your own avatar. You are able to customize your avatar's appearance and clothing. But do keep in mind that you are required to enter your first name as your avatar's name. You will see boxes showing your camera and microphone status and you are encouraged to turn them on so that the others can interact with you. There will be a tutorial upon your entry on the island which you can skip or watch if you'd like. To navigate your avatar, it is super easy, you just have to press the four arrow keys on your keyboard. When you walk by an object and it lights up, you can press X to interact. Do explore the whole town to find hidden interactions between objects. And if you are stuck between participants, press G and you will be able to pass through them. You can control your microphone and camera by selecting their respective icon at the bottom right corner. Next, you will see a small menu bar located at the bottom center. You may use emojis to interact with others and there's also a minimap on the menu bar. The minimap will show you the general locations of the private rooms. Next, you can click on your avatar's name, select the user or video preferences to adjust your audio settings or select the respond button to be relocated at the help desk. By selecting the participant icon, you are able to direct message, locate on map or follow your friends. When you bump into someone in close proximity, it will automatically start a video call. And upon entering a private room, the people in the room will join the call as well. And that takes us to the end of our tutorial, but hold on, we will be taking you on a short tour to have a peek on how Charisma Virtual Campsite looks like. First off, this is the help desk, where you will see once you enter Charisma Virtual Camp, or also known as the Respawn Spot. For the opening ceremony and live music, it will be held on stage upstairs, so it is important to remember the location of the staircase. Next, we are heading to the Arabic room, and it is located right beside the staircase. Moving on to the next private rooms. Here is a signboard which shows you the direction to room A, B, C and D. You may use the bridge for shortcuts. Okay, so let's go to room A, which will be used for introduction of charity organization by Kalso Movement. There will also be a signboard in front of each and every room which shows what activities will be held in that particular room. Next, you will see room B just beside room A, which also will be used for introduction of charity organization by small changes. And this is just a hangout area where you can mix and meet new friends. Let's move further. You will see a library which is room C. It will be used for introduction of charity organization as well, which is by the Charisma Movement. Moving on, located right below is room D, the game room, and this will be used for the game session. Last but not least, we will be having our lepa session on the island, which is located on the east side of the camp. And it's completely normal that it appeared a bit darker and has a larger ocean waves background to set the mood. Here is the lepa and sharing session will be held. 
can't wait to see you guys and this marks the end of our tour. Thank you so much for watching and we are looking forward to see you guys in Getatown soon. Bye!